Now, volume, we've been saying the volume is the, the space inside an object, right? I mentioned before, surface area of a pool is basically if you're going to plaster, you're going to paint the walls. Now, volume is basically how much water is inside the pool, right? So volume is the space inside. We can do it using formulas like we learned, you know, prisms, cones. We learned formulas, but in in lab in labs, they, they tend to use beakers, which is a, a glass container. So here for question number 23, we're gonna use a beaker. I wanna I wanna test what's the volume of a little little screw that I have. First, I'm gonna have a beaker. So let me explain what I have here. I have a beaker and I have my my screw outside of the beaker. Then I have a picture where I have the screw in there. The, we call this displacement, volume of displacement, because the level of the water change. I know my numbers here for my example are not that clear to be, not that clear, we cannot read them that well, but when the water had no, no screw, I'm gonna say this thing had 150 milliliters. We're measuring this in milliliters. When the water had the screw, this came up to 180 milliliters. On your homework, you're gonna see the numbers clearly. Here again on my on my notes, they they don't come out that clear. But again, when when the water had no screw, it's 150 milliliters. When the water had the screw, it was 180. So I'm gonna say the space, the space inside the screw, the volume of this object. And for your homework, I'm gonna do different objects. I could do the volume of a key. I could do the volume of a um, Nintendo Switch. I could do volume of anything. The way I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna subtract the two numbers here. So 180 minus 150, that's gonna give me the volume of that screw. Because 180 is the water with the screw. 150 is the water without the screw. So I'm gonna say in this case, that screw is 130. I mean, it's it's 30 milliliters, right? 180 minus 150. That's it. I'm just gonna subtract the two numbers. Then I'm also gonna say, let's say I have a fish tank. And in here, I put in a fish. My 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 volume here, I can see it's gonna be measured using a fish tank. So basically I had the fish tank with water. I put something in it. In this case, I put in a fish. I could put in a shoe. I could put in a phone. I could put in things in there. I don't recommend putting things into the fish tanks, but for us to measure, we could. We could put it in there and I'm just gonna see what's the difference on the fish tank. Now, I'm gonna see that the base, that the base is a rectangle. It's a 13.4 by 6.2 rectangle. I see that. I'm gonna say there's the background. And I'm gonna say the water before the fish was right there. So this is the level before the fish. After putting the fish, I see that the water raised. And then the, the difference, in this case is 2.1 inches, right? I, I, I see that information here. So in reality, I can just say this fish is that difference. Well, isn't that, that doesn't that look like a small prism? I remembered, I remember for the for the prism, right? The difference of the water here, it looks like a prism. And I remembered the volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height. So in this case, I'm gonna go, the base is 13.4 times 6.2. The height in this case is 2.1. So I have to go area of the base times the height, which happens to give me 174.468 cubic inches. That's it, that's simple, right? If you're using beakers, look what's the difference of the beakers. If you're using a fish tank, well, you look at the difference, let me highlight it. It looks like a very small prism, which is area of the base times the height.